Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Donald Trump and wife Melania Trump were left standing outside Number 10 Downing Street in a cold winter evening after an embarrassing blunder. The pair exited their vehicle on the no Number 10 premises prematurely and subsequently were left standing in the cold. Emmanuel Macron, who arrived at a similar time, said goodbye to the First Lady before making his way to the door. The US President and Miss President then stood silently awaiting the go-ahead to approach the Number 10 door. During this time, Christmas carolers can be heard as photographers snap pictures of the free world leader. Mr. Trump was then called forward to approach and quickly posed in front of number 10 before entering hastily. Robert Peston joked about the incident and wrote on his Twitter, Donald Trump was stuck out in the freezing cold of Downing Street for about five minutes. I'm not sure he'll have been thrilled. During his visit, Donald Trump has been questioned on the upcoming December election and his thoughts on the candidates as he has previously clashed with Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn. Asked about the upcoming election, President Trump today said, I have no thoughts on it. It's going to be a very important election for this great country, but I have no thoughts on it. Jeremy Corbyn has consistently accused Prime Minister Boris Johnson of preparing to sell the NHS to the US in favor of a good trade deal. However, Boris Johnson has repeatedly denied these claims and insisted that the NHS is not for sale. Donald Trump has added to these sentiments by saying the U.S. is not interested in privatizing the NHS. During a press conference this morning in London, President Trump rebuked these suggestions, insisting he had no idea where that rumor started. Boris Johnson, Donald Trump and 27 other NATO will be celebrating the 70 years of the controversial alliance, in addition to discussing current political tensions. Mr. Johnson is expected to retire at the importance of NATO, a unity which he has labeled the cornerstone of Euro-Atlantic security, which assists in keeping a billion people safe. NATO has proven itself to be a robust institution over the years, but tensions still exist. French President Emmanuel Macron said NATO was in the throes of brain death, which drew criticism for many international affiliates. Germany's Angela Merkel said, I understand your desire for disruptive politics, but I'm tired of picking up the pieces. The US president has also been unafraid to show his frustration with NATO. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.